So now that we have the truck completely apart, what I want to do today is I want to take the fan off of here and replace it with this one. This fan is a 25 millimeter. It, the ESC is basically a Hobbywing WP80. Um, this will probably work for most Hobbywing ESCs that have a 25 millimeter fan, but uh, of course your mileage may vary. This ESC itself is the EMH3S. This is an HPI ESC, but um, all the Hobbywing programmers and uh, codes and everything work on this, and it has the same specs as the Hobbywing WP80. So I'm assuming that it's the same one. Regardless, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it on here, and going to use this 25 millimeter to 30 millimeter adapter to do that. This is made by Hot Racing. It's aluminum, I'm sorry, Yeah Racing. It's aluminum and uh, it's really nice. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get this cover off of here. That's got four screws and the cover and fan will come off. All right, so here's what we're left with. This ESC is potted. You can see the epoxy kind of shining down there in the bottom. And pretty much the only part that isn't is the tops of the capacitors and the heat sink itself. Um, the mount for the fan and this little cover are actually directly connected to the heat sink, which means that all of the weight of this fan or whatever we put on there is going to be hanging directly on top of this. I don't think it's going to be a problem. This ES or this heat sink looks like it's pretty well in there. Also, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this cover. I may just cut this top part off. Uh, we'll see. I probably won't use it at all. It's not really useful for anything because everything's potted in here and it's all held in by that potting material so what I'll probably do is I'll probably just leave this off entirely so what we'll end up doing is putting this adapter directly on the heat sink and then this fan will go on top of there I'm gonna go ahead and pull the old fan out and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and hook it up to power and I'll show you kind of what the difference between what's in there and what I'm going to be using is. Well, I'll try to show you. First of all, we've got the size difference. Clearly, this is much, much larger. Also, this fan doesn't really run very fast. It really doesn't move a lot of air. Let's go ahead and hook that up and uh, see if I can show you the difference. Okay, so we've got a 2S battery hooked up to here and I've just got the fan kind of connected. It connects directly to the ESC right here on the top. So we'll go ahead and turn that on, and I don't know, hang on, you can kind of, maybe you can hear that. It's also really badly balanced, it's vibrating pretty heavily, so let's go ahead and take that one off, and we'll go ahead and plug the other fan in with an adapter. This fan that I'm using actually came on the heat sink that... I'm going to be putting on the motor, <clears throat> however I'm going to put this one, this wild turbo fan on the motor instead. It is a much, much more powerful fan and I want the motor to get as much cooling as possible. So let's hook this fan up. This is the Intigy fan. I'll try turning it on and you'll probably be able to... You should be able to hear that, you can hear the difference. I mean this fan will almost lift itself off my hand. The other one's barely doing anything, so this will be a much better option. In order to make this fit down in here, a couple of these, you can see a couple of these are a little bit taller than the rest. I ground a small amount of the adapter off either side. You may or may not have to do that depending on your ESC. Okay, all done. I did not end up putting the cover back on. The Yeah Racing adapter went on perfectly and the 30 millimeter fan went on perfectly above that. Let's test this out.
that's really nice. I would say there's probably five times the airflow as with the stock fan. I really didn't have any serious overheating problems with the ESC before. It did get warm, but I just really, really did not like how little air this little fan was putting out. And also, it vibrated really, really hard, and um, I just wasn't, wasn't liking it. This cover, I will not be putting back on. I don't think there's really no good way to put it on there, but all of these wires are actually held in place by the epoxy, and so I really don't think it's necessary. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Um, keep your ESC cool. We'll uh, see you next time.